this video. A moment ago, you saw me rolling that light blue hospital crash cart across the lawn. Now, that's something I actually pulled out of the dumpster at a hospital. It's basically a brand new uh, American-made crash cart. In my case, it's going to be a toolbox. Uh, the reason they were throwing it out was because there was some damage to the casters. I actually made a video about it, best dumpster diving find of my life, put it back together, bleached it, sanitized it. Things just fantastic. I was planning on possibly using it as a diaper changing station. However, it just didn't fit with the inside of the house and the wife wasn't thrilled about it. So it ended up making its way back out into the garage. And my plan is to replace this Craftsman rolling toolbox with that American made, I believe it's a Harloff hospital crash cart. I think it'll add a little bit of color to this area. Not to mention that toolbox is bigger. I believe it has one more drawer, it's taller, and just gives you uh, more storage area, so I think it's going to work out just fine. Story behind this Craftsman Toolbox. I got this third hand. This was originally in a factory in the old town in which I lived. My stepfather actually bought it at auction, and then he, he probably purchased eight to ten of these, and he ended up giving me this one. I asked him for it. He said I could have it, but uh, nothing wrong with it, but the drawers are friction slide drawers. The Harloff toolbox is going to be a ball bearing drawer, and this will just give me an opportunity to reorganize this corner of the shop. I'm going to do up that box real nice, labels and all, and uh, that's what we're going to do today. So let's get started. All right, so let's come up with a game plan here. Now, the old box has five drawers, one, two, three, four, five, and the new box has six drawers, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, some of the drawers in the new box are well, a bit deeper than the old box, which is good. That'll give us more storage space. Now, the upper drawer I'm planning to reserve for my battery-operated Makita power tools, drill, driver, half-inch drive impact, sawzall. So that's what we're going to reserve that drawer for. Aside from that, I think we're mostly going to move everything into the new box, but anything that I no longer need or use or deem that it just doesn't de deserve the space in the new box, we're going to get it out of the box, either toss it or relocate it. In the old box, I have toolbox liners on each drawer. Now the new box is slightly wider. The new blue box over here is 24 inches wide. This box is 22 inches wide. I don't have any new liner spooled up, so I'm just going to reuse these old mats. So that means I'm going to take each drawer out one by one, move the liner into the new box, and then we'll try and organize everything. But I just wanted to show you the bottom drawer here. This is kind of like my goodie drawer. I have some LED off-road lights, new LED tail lights for the logging trailer, because I was thinking about making that trailer road legal. So these are just sitting here for now. Also have some rock lights, hot glue gun, extra remote for the logging crane trailer. Now, if you go back through some of my old videos on my old 05 F-150, I had a train horn in that sucker, and I mounted this manual, massive manual air horn valve up in the headliner. So whenever I wanted to blow the horn, just pull this handle down, but this thing's cool. I'd love to utilize it again at some point. The nice thing uh, when you're blowing a train horn and you have a manual valve like this, you can kind of change the tone of the horn versus if you have an electronic valve, it's either open or closed. So yeah, I'd like to put that to use again one day. Aside from that, some locks. Fireworks. Let's see if these smoke bombs are still any good. That was fun. You guys can bust my chops about this little tiny tykes chair all you want, but when you have to sit down low to the ground, well, it sure beats being on your knees. I've actually had this since I was probably about four or five years old. All right, now let's see how this old liner fits in this drawer. Yeah, that'll do the job. I guess we'll have it centered. I mean, it may shift over time, but I think it makes sense to have it centered right now. So, 
and want this to be as organized as possible. It'd be nice to have some cardboard boxes, to be honest. And this is how drawer number one looks, and I'm thrilled with how it came out. So, a couple things that you may learn here is that cardboard boxes can be a wonderful economical way to really organize drawers and areas of the shop, especially where there's no fire hazard. So, yeah, well, there goes the battery on that light. But I used a couple cardboard boxes to kind of organize the lights as well as the miscellaneous section of the drawer. So here we have, again, the off-road lights, rock lights, some headlights, LED trailer lights. And I also used this box for spare garage door openers. In between the boxes, we have that air valve. I have this old survivor light when I used to be a firefighter. It needs a new battery, so maybe that will be a future project. And then I also save these steel coffee cans, and these are fantastic for shop organization. Just take the labels off, it looks a little bit more modern. You can save the tops by attaching them to the bottom of the cans, but this has radio straps, which I use those all the time for uh, various projects. And I have one set up for locks, so let's keep moving here. Drawer number two tackle boxes of hardware. Now, I purchased these tackle boxes long before I ever purchased this shelf, and this is what got me going in hardware organization. You can pick these up, I don't know, they probably increased in price, but I used to be able to pick these up for about eight bucks a piece. So, really just miscellaneous hardware in here. Yes, I could utilize the vertical storage of this drawer a little bit better, but I like having everything laid out. Makes it easy to identify cotter pins. Pitch clip assortment. O-rings. I gotta put a label on this box. There's also grommets, hose clamps, stainless steel ear hose clamps. These are good for airline, things of that nature. So yeah, I think we're gonna leave this drawer just the way it is. And then in these tackle boxes, just various hardware items. And I like to make a drawing of what main style of hardware is in each case so that way it's kind of easy to identify like nails self-tapping steel screws you get the idea so let's move on so for this drawer i think we need to lose some weight on the left hand side of the drawer i had make wire i really at this point in time only do make welding so the other half of this drawer stick electrodes like these are 7014s I haven't opened these up in quite some oh god Got all that dust coming out of there so I'd say these are shot the 6011s I have down here look fine so maybe we'll get rid of the 7014s in the case and put the 6011 rods in there but regardless all these electrodes need to come out of here and I think I'm gonna put them on top of my Hobart stick mate Maybe I'll just put them on top of that machine so if I do ever need them, they're there and they're out of the way. Because right now they're taking up very valuable space in this tool cart. Gotta prioritize. That's what we're gonna do. Alright guys, time for an update. I just finished organizing the top four drawers and really the final thing I have to do is just add labels to the box. I'm pretty happy with how it's come out so far. So we'll continue on the box tour. So, if you'll remember on the old toolbox, in my welding drawer, half of the drawer was make welding wire and the other half was those stick electrodes. Well, they're now on the stick welder and I made this drawer into a MIG welding slash angle grinder grinding wheel storage disc drawer, if you will. So we have a spool of solid core wire, flux core wire, 035 tips, 030 tips. I really only weld with 030 works better for me. Multi-voltage plug, so this allows my 210 MVP Hobart MIG welder to weld on 115 if I so choose, but currently I have it on 230. A couple new pieces of shield for my welding helmet. Then of course your variety of four and a half inch angle grinder discs, flap disc, cutting disc, grinding disc, diamond tip disc, get the idea and if we go up one drawer I haven't completely figured out what I want to do with the rest of this drawer yet because I still have a good bit of room which is good I may end up changing this a little bit but 
We have some mechanics wire wedges for fitting heads on new wooden tool handles. And then I think this is gonna be kind of like a polishing slash sanding drawer. So I have a couple of brushes, wire brushes, grinding stones, sanding block, buffing compound, scotch brite pads. Second drawer from the top. I would describe this drawer as half bonding chemicals and the other half files. So in the top of the old box, there was a metal lid that kind of slid left and right, and it was kind of annoying whenever I wanted to access these chemicals, but now I believe it to be set up really well in this drawer. So I like to keep these chemicals in their original packages when possible. That way I can look at their instructions and ensure that it will bond whatever I need to bond together. So we have some Loctite two-part gel epoxy, rubber cement. This is Loctite outdoor adhesive. And you know what I use this for? This is really handy for when weather stripping on exterior doors uh, basically separates from the door. Like if it tears apart, this stuff is fantastic for re-gluing that stuff back together. Of course, some RTV, JB Weld, Marine Weld, and then uh, just some various Loctites vulcanizing compound for tire plugs. And of course, files on the right-hand side of the drawer, some ferrer rasps, uh, chainsaw files. If you don't wanna buy file handles, great cheap way to go. Just use an old golf ball. Drill a little hole in there, hammer the file down in there. This gives you great control over that file. So moving on to the top, it is the Makita drawer. Now I'm kind of torn because I'd really rather just have tools in here, but if you have the Sawzall in here, it's kind of like you want to keep the Sawzall blades right next to it. Along with my regular impact driver, I want to keep all the bits right in the same drawer, but that does take away from some of the storage space in here, which I would really like to add one of those Milwaukee 3 8 inch drive electric socket wrenches. I think you know what I'm talking about. I would love to have one in here at some point, but whatever. I don't have it right now, it's fine. Uh, my Makita Impact is on the table because I'm working on another project right now, but that's how this drawer came out. And another cool feature about this toolbox is it also has this fold up side tray. So if you ever need a little bit of additional room, you have another little work surface right there. And of course, the top of this toolbox is hospital grade, so it's easy to clean. Actually separates right off the toolbox if you ever need to hose it down. But for right now, just have my Makita battery charger on top of the box. And that's pretty much it. So the final thing I need to do before I conclude this video is add all my labels to the drawers. And here we have the finished product. Just finished putting on all the labels. I gotta say, I'm really pleased with how this toolbox came out. I like the color. This is one of my favorite colors, this light blue teal color. Anyway, thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.